Lawmakers at the state capitol are taking on Arizona's medical marijuana law again. Say you have your medical marijuana card, you're driving down the road, and you get stopped for speeding. A police officer finds your marijuana in your car, but you show him your card. He takes your pot and destroys it. As Nine on Your Side's Liz Kotelik reports, it will all be legal if some lawmakers get their way. It's an age-old lesson. Don't take what isn't yours. But when it comes to medical marijuana, State Representative Ethan Orr says it's not that simple. This bill was at the behest of the police departments and the county prosecutors. That bill he's talking about, SB 1441. Representative Orr and other House Judiciary Committee members voted yesterday to pass it on to the House. It says if any marijuana is seized in a criminal investigation, police can destroy it, whether it's legally possessed or not. And as Ari Rubin prepares to open in his dispensary in East Tucson, he says legislation like this has potential to be misused. We want to know that we're safe there and that our property is safe there and that that medicine that we're trying to produce is going to eventually make it to patients who need it. Concerns Representative Orr says he understands and that's why he's pushing to make changes to the legislation. What I want to do with this bill before it gets to the floor is craft some amendments. Specifically for dispensaries under investigation, Representative Orr would suggest the police only take a portion of the business's product for testing. And for those cardholders being questioned, he says police should treat their marijuana like a prescription drug. It would be seized and destroyed, but the person would get their money's worth if it's proven to be legally owned. People are very upset. They're saying, don't give me money. I want my marijuana back. That's what I need. Well, that that's something that I want to make sure is in the amendment. Another amendment saying the cardholder would get their share of the drug back. Lots of recommendations, but is he just blowing smoke? Well, I have the votes on the floor to make sure it doesn't pass without those amendments. It's a contentious issue on both sides of the argument, but Ari says he understands the need for clarification. I think it's unusual for an industry to be asking to be regulated, but we really just want to know what the rules are and what we have to do to remain safe and compliant. Representative Orr tells Not On Your Side he did vote against legalizing marijuana in the first place, but he says he wants to respect the decision of Arizona's voters. A vote could come late next week. Here at Not On Your Side, we give our viewers a voice and we want to hear from you. Do you think police should be required to return medical marijuana seized from people who possess it legally? It's our 